Hey, what's up you guys? I'm getting a lot of questions on how to install the backup manager onto the PS3. So what I'd like to do today is just go ahead and show you how to do that. So what we want to go ahead and do first is download it. So we're going to go ahead and bring up the internet here and we're going to go to ps3-hacks.com. And then once that's loaded up, we're going to go ahead and pull up download. And then from downloads, we're going to do PS3 Homebrew. And then Homebrew Apps. And then you'll see it there. It says Backup Manager. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then we'll go ahead and click on Download. Just go ahead and download it right out to your desktop. All right, you can go ahead and close out your internet window. And then that download will be on your desktop. And it's called manager.pkg. So now what we want to go ahead and do is put that on a USB flash drive. So we'll go ahead and open up my computer. And then I've got my flash drive right here. And what you do is you just go ahead and drop it right into the uh, main directory of that flash drive. So we'll just go ahead and drag it and drop it on. It's going to go ahead and copy on there. And then next, you just go ahead and take that out. And we're going to head on over to the PS3. Okay, now that we've got the backup manager on our flash drive, we're going to go ahead and install this on the PS3. So, set it aside. We're not going to put it in quite yet. What we're going to go ahead and do here is start up the PS3 with the exploit. So, go ahead and turn off your power. Go ahead and plug in your iPod or iPhone. We're going to go ahead and turn the power on. And go ahead and start up Android. for the penguin here. Alright, we're booting up. Right, grab my controller here. Alright, everything is loaded up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is unplug my iPod from the PS3. And now we're going to go ahead and put our flash drive in. Alright. And then where we go here, it's under game. And we're going to go down to Install Package Files. Go ahead and press X on that, and we're going to open that up. Now, if you look here, you're going to see manager.pkg. Go ahead and highlight that and press X. Right then, it's going to go ahead and, and install. I've already installed it, so after it's installed, you're going to see the backup manager right there. 